understand what type of love these Arifin and the lovers of the Divine, what type of love they had and what type of inspirations came to their heart to express that love for the Divine the Presence. For any other love it will leave us to be empty, that shaitan comes and fools us to love the things of the material world and everything that's in this material world and awliyaullah come and remind us, no, love that which is from the heavens. Love Allah most and right under the shadow of that reality is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and all the Prophets of God. They represent that purity, that, that beauty and the, the best of character. When we love that then the heart is correctly guided, right direction. Don't give your heart to anything else that no shaykh, no person, no personality is a placeholder for the love of Allah and His Rasul They are merely just a pointing the direction. The shaykh doesn't come to take your path but to accompany you, give us the tools of the path so that to guide us. So real guidance is that you do the work the shaykh accompanies you, that direct your heart back. You're, you're going back now towards dunya, direct your heart back towards Allah And when you want to love the Divine the Presence then you have to love the exemplar of that faith, the example of that reality which is known to us as Muhammadun Rasulullah the perfection of character, the perfection of beauty, the perfection of the lawgiver, the laws and the, the justice of Allah that becomes the concept of that reality. So it means our love and this heart is only to be directed towards Allah and His Rasul If that heart makes that connection you have reached you have reached the greatest gift that Allah can give to creation. Means there is no guidance except for guidance from Allah There's no way to guide yourself, there's no way to do anything that would make Allah to be forced into guiding you. That our belief is if you are listening to this signal and you're listening to these words and you're sitting upon these carpets or sitting at home. If you're under the nazar of these awliyaullah who are broadcasting all over the world and associations and majlis all over the world, you have been granted the greatest love that Allah can give, it's the love of guidance. Now what you're going to do with it is up to you. Doesn't matter what your sins, don't matter what your background, doesn't matter what your character. If Allah has you listening to our voices and I'm nobody but these shaykhs are very powerful that are behind us, that's supporting and prompting and 124,000 only Allah upon this earth. If you're sitting and hearing and listening to them, Allah has a love for you and guiding you. No matter your sins like a mountain, your, your mind empty like a bird, no matter what your character. <laughs> Allah has a love for you and He's sending you guidance. Now what are you going to do with it? What are we going to do with it? Do we nourish that love and develop it? Because no more the word is that, oh I don't know how I'm going to find guidance shaykh. I mean this got to be the most ridiculous question that you could text me. You're talking to guides and asking, how am I going to find guidance? What are you talking about? Allah <laughs> guided you. What are you going to do with it now? You're going to nourish it, develop it. It's like Allah give you a seed in the soil and it's just now sprouting. It's very delicate this relationship. You're going to water it, you're going to nourish it with love and muhabbat. Then they become and teach you, yeah, build this love of Sayyidina Muhammad praise, make durood al-sharif. Attend the majlis and the associations of love whether you can sit on the carpet or listen through the internet or rebroadcast if it's a different time. Develop and nourish that love like a water that begins to dress upon that fragile little sprout. 
Because as you water it with your faith and with your love and with your good character and good actions, you see even my actions and my amal are, are, are weak, don't have the strength to pray, don't have the strength to pay, don't have the strength to do all of these things that you have as rules. What was the hadith of Prophet You be with whom you love, inshaAllah will give you more strength. He loved you enough to guide you to even look. To find them means then he knows best his creation and he knows best what they're capable of producing. That love is there, it's our responsibility now to nourish it, to do good with it, to develop it and make it to be blossom. Like these awliyaullah their little sprout became like a tree, an evergreen tree that their roots go very deep into their soul and into their reality. As a result they're always green, they're always blossoming, they're always giving out what Allah has to offer. Their cup is never empty, their tables are never empty, their pockets are never empty. Everything from them is always alive. The color of green is the symbol of resurrection, that they're at every moment resurrecting with a new tajalli from Allah and as a result they spread that light and that love and that reality to all of humanity for at every moment humanity is in a state of death and perishing. Surat al-Asr that you are by your nature at a loss, that from the time Allah sent us we are in a descent falling to all our desires and to all our bad characteristic. And Allah sends this najat and this light for us that to be revitalized, re-nourished, recharged. We pray that Allah open more and more understanding and that that love and that bond to that reality becomes stronger and stronger with the mafis, with the zikr, with the durood al-sharif. Before you want anything, praise and make salawats, sit into the majlises of mafil so that they wash you, cleanse you, perfect you so that when you make your request you are clean at that time requesting something from Allah The The zikr of Allah just we said many times a reminder for myself, just sitting and saying, Allah and then multiply by a hundred, multiply by ten thousand who are watching, what's the weight of that Allah on the scale compared to all the sins of insan? It's nothing in comparison. Because if you look at insan and go outside of our galaxy, this entire plan, planet is not even visible. This earth in the Milky Way is not even visible. Do you think your sin is even visible? In the majesty of Allah just one name Allah and what it wipes out of every type of difficulty. But they don't have ears to hear and eyes to see. And they don't understand except the people of tafakkur. Because when the people of tafakkur Allah open their ears, they hear what people don't hear. Open their eyes and they see what people don't see. Open their breath and they breathe what people don't understand. Speak what others don't understand and can't even speak. Means all of these realities and senses upon them so that they come to show us that way that Allah is great and what Allah can open is something unimaginable. InshaAllah we pray that Allah open more and more understanding Ameen. in these holy months that are opening now inshaAllah and as difficulty is entering always upon the earth and more and more and more there will be few that carry a tremendous light, there are few that represent the many. And that is the barakah of the last days when Prophet was describing to his companions, there are people whom would give anything to have one glimpse of me. They show immense amount of love just to draw close to the prophetic reality and he was telling his companions, and these are my ahbab, they actually have a title from Sayyidina Muhammad they are the ahbab, they are my lovers, they love me and I love them. And the companions were a bit jealous, they said, I thought we're the lovers, they said, no you're the companions. 
because you're accompanying me. But this love that they have, they have not even seen me and they have that love and I love them because of that love. I know the difficulty that they go through for that love. I know what they endure for that love and I love them. That's it, that's the best, that's your ticket to beyond paradise. That's the ticket to sit in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad So this is all a development course in being a lover of the Divine and to reach the way of Ahbab and Nabi inshaAllah. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.